Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. Shout out to the festive nails that I did because I think they came out really cute. Today I have no makeup on besides a little bit of under eye concealer and my brows and my lashes because we are going to be talking about my spironolactone update. I've been taking this medication for a little over a year now, which is really crazy. So for all of 2021, I was taking 100 milligrams of spironolactone each and every day. We are close friends now, me and this bottle. If you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Priska. I've been taking this medication to help clear my acne for a little over a year. I have a lot of other videos about it and they all show um, really in-depth progress videos and all of that good stuff. My first one in particular has a lot of info about the drug, so if you're curious about that, that would be a good place to get more information. But yes, as you can see, my skin is looking very good right now. I'm very happy with it. Last week and a little the week before, I was having a couple like problem areas, but right now it looks really good. I will do some close-ups and stuff in a little bit, but everything's been going great. I'm still experiencing no negative side effects or anything like that. My prescription cream is currently tretinoin 0.025%, spironolactone 5%, and tranexamic acid at 5%. And I put that on every night. And I take this every night. I don't know if I mentioned in my last video that I had this cleanser that I had been using, but if not, I'll just shout it out now. It's the CeraVe Hydrating Cream to Foam Cleanser for normal to dry skin. I like it. It hasn't broken me out or given me any weird issues. It's very gentle. It does foam a little. And I have a little mini one that is in my shower. A fun new gadget that I got and have been using a little bit, I need to get back on it because it was actually really good, is the light stim. I saw this in someone's YouTube video about their acne and I was really intrigued because I had been looking into dermatologists that do facials and stuff like that and light therapy that was within those facials and you know all those little things and i feel like to actually get the benefits of light therapy you're not going to reap the benefits just from doing one visit or yes they're using a professional grade machine but doing it at home with an at home machine and being able to do it multiple times a week versus doing it once or a couple times paying a lot of money for it and using a professional grade machine. So yeah, I felt like this was kind of a really good middle ground. I got mine from Amazon, so I will leave a link below for anyone who's interested. Um, it just comes with a little cord, obviously, and then this is the little machine and it's not plugged in right now, but you click it and it turns on and it is blue and red light. They also have one for wrinkles, I believe, which is just a red light one. So every time I use this, I wipe it down with some alcohol just to make sure that it is extra clean before I put it on my face. And then I'll just click it on and it has um, a set timer, I think for like 30 seconds, I can't remember. And I'll just hold it on like the problem area and then I'll just move on to the next after it gives me a beep and I think it auto shuts off after three minutes when I was using it I found that it was really helping my spots to heal faster if that makes sense problem areas that would have taken much longer to resolve I felt that doing this on it just sped up that process which is really helpful and I think that if I were to use it routinely over a period of time it could help prevent those things from even ever coming to a head. For me, it was definitely worth the investment because I have used it many times and I will continue to use it. There are a lot of skincare gimmicky kind of items, but I really don't think that this is one of them. This is pretty quality and I do find that it helps. Other than that, I've just been keeping my skincare really basic, really simple, and using my prescription medications. Um, whenever I wear makeup, I take it off basically as soon as I get home because it just feels more comfortable, but also that way my skin just 
doesn't have that on it when I'm just at home relaxing. Other than that, there's not much more to report, which is honestly a very good thing. I'm just so happy that I did start taking this medication in late 2020 and all throughout 2021 because it really has turned around my skin and kind of reset it to the equilibrium that it used to be at before I had like the horrible hormonal breakout that I've been fighting for years. Finally finding something that worked and that wasn't like a pain to get and was affordable um, has been fantastic. And thank you if you have been watching like all of these updates. It's been wonderful to have you here on my channel and I will continue to update as anything changes and improves. And good luck to anyone who is also starting this medication or has been on this medication because it is like the type of medication that does take a while to really see the effects. Um, so yeah, stick with it and take progress pictures. I feel like that is a really good way to see like how much better your skin is doing throughout time. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you can give it a like and subscribe down below so you know every time I post. I will see you in the next video. Bye.